I started going to therapy and I was uh, primarily going because I'd had a couple of relationships fall apart um, when I started touring. And one relationship in particular was like me and my high school best friend. We'd stopped talking and I was super sad about it and uh, was sort of busily writing like love songs and breakup songs. That wasn't reflecting like my reality at the time, which was that I really missed my best friend. And I just was like, well, this is stupid to not be writing about how I actually feel. Cause that's the whole point of songs. It's like to tell the truth, I think. Producing the song was a sort of a complicated process because it was a song that existed in its sort of barest form, like piano vocals for a long time. But my favorite part of the production was I, I found this synthesizer that sounded a little bit like turning through like a radio dial on like a submarine or something, like all this like, like this staticky kind of weird sonar stuff. I don't know, I, I, I just like it as a, as a color, like in the song, but I think also like, if you're taking it a little bit more literally, like the whole song is about losing something, and sleep on a red eye and whatever. And I like the idea of like having like a, a signal out that you're like searching for the station or whatever. It was a fun, fun little thing to discover. I lost a friend, like keys in a sofa, like a wallet in the back seat, like ice in the summer heat. We were best friends all through high school and, and trying to do all the same stuff. It's probably not like the easiest thing in the world to watch like a lot of your your combined dreams come true for one of you. I lost a friend, like sleep on a red eye. One family vacation a year, let's fly to New York. I think maybe red eyes were like the cheapest flights or something. Like you just arrive like groggy and like screwed up. Like, you know, at most you sleep like the hour before you land. It's crazy. And then also like West Coast where I live to East Coast, which is usually like the flight pattern I was making, like you lose three hours. So you like, you take off at like 9 p.m. Nobody's tired at 9 p.m. at all yet. And then you land at like three or four in the morning and you're like, it's seven or eight in New York. And you're like so tired. And it's like, start the day, it's crazy. Like money on a bad bet. Like time worrying about every bad thing that hasn't happened yet. I don't really know why I'm like so focused on like bad things happening in the future other than maybe like some misguided attempt at like self-preservation or like a defense mechanism to like you know make sure that I'm prepped for it or something. I know I'll be all right but I'm not tonight. I'll be lying awake counting all the mistakes I've made replaying fights thinking about what you should have said or what you could have said better or just like feeling embarrassed about something you said. I know I'll be all right but I'm not tonight. I lost a friend. I lost a friend. I understand that like I'll probably be fine in X amount of time, but I'm super distraught about this tonight. I lost my mind. And nobody believes me. Say I know that he don't need me because he made a little too much money to be 20 and sad. At that point, it's like I was like having this tumultuous success with my sister. It was wonderful and amazing. And I was still like really sad because this personal relationship of mine had fallen apart. That person and probably other friends of mine were like, what is he so bummed out about? Like his life is great. And I'll be fine without him. But all I do is write about him. How the hell did I lose a friend I never had? I'm definitely not like moving on emotionally because I'm clearly just writing about this person all the time. You know what I mean? I'm on the mend, like I'm wearing a neck brace, like I'm sleeping at my own place, like I'm pulling all the stitches out of my own face. Well, the structure of this verse was that I wanted, I wanted it to rhyme with I lost a friend. So that's the I'm on the mend, which is like, if I went back to like talking about ways in which you lose your friend, like that felt redundant to me at this point in the song, I wanted it to be like, I'm, I'm working through this, I'm figuring it out. You know what a neck brace looks like? I feel like you know, if you've gone through any sort of like breakup in your life, like when you're when you're back to like sleeping at like your own place for the first time in a while, like that's a super like, oh wow, I'm I'm really not there anymore. I'm out of that situation. Pulling all the stitches out of your, my own face was just like a the crazy image to me. I was like, that's really intense if you're just like tearing. I'm on the mend, like I'm icing a new sprain, like I'm walking on a new cane. Like it's been a couple days since I slipped and said something sort of like your name. Methods of like coping with a with pain. And then, you know, I think that like been a couple days is like just just another thing that like in your life you you measure yourself in certain ways. And I think that was one of them for me. And I'd apologize. 
if I thought it might make a difference or make you listen. And I'd apologize if it was black and white, but life is different. Just try to listen to me now. Yeah, I mean, we actually did end up, um, I guess, reconciling, and that all happened over a over a brunch last year. It's very hard to to have an angry conversation when a waiter is bringing you like a cappuccino and it's like vegan waffles. It's really hard to like scowl at somebody when you're just like drizzling syrup all over a waffle. <laughs> Kevin, uh, what's his name? Kevin Smith. He was like two tables over and he had very recently survived a heart attack and then decided to lose like as much weight as he possibly could. And he had, had yet to um, invest in any new wardrobe. So he was still rocking like a size 5150 jorts on his like 3530 waist, which was a sight to behold. It's just these like parachute jorts. I sent this song to the person that it was about like five days before it came out. Um, which I, I wanted to do late in the game because I wanted it to be like inevitable. I wanted to be like, hey, this comes out on Friday. Like, here you go, man. <laughs> Love you, bro.